Hello hunters and welcome back to Hunter Call of the Wild. I came out here thinking that there would be a uh Ooh, it's behind me. <laughs> oh my goodness. I should say I drove out here on the the quad thinking I would I'd run across a uh a um a ranger station, right? Like one of the places to to claim so you can fast travel. I got out here and I didn't see anything. I'm happy I checked my map. I might not have noticed it. Ooh, what's that? A turkey? Sure is. Look at that big old turkey. We actually do have a uh, a shotgun. And he is just right over there. What do you? What are the odds you think that we're going to be able to walk over there and pop him? Oh. Zero. <laughs> the odds of us getting him are zero. <laughs> I, I assume that was the same one. I guess I just I missed him in front there, I guess. What was that? Is that what we're here for? I'm here for a white-tailed deer, but I'll take a big horn sheep. I'll take a big horn sheep. What was that? What was that? What was that? That's got some mass to it, whatever it is. Right here, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Oh, it teased us. Oh, no, it's going back. Oh, whatever that was, that might have been the deer I was looking for. That's weird, man. I thought the quad would have scared all this stuff off, but apparently I'm waking it up from a... Oh, bunny rabbit. Apparently I'm waking all this stuff up from a midday slumber or something. And I know that by now this map probably has been. Oh, I could actually kill that bunny rabbit with a uh, with a shotgun blast. Now that I think about it. If I could reach him. Um. Why did you cock it? I only shot twice. Uh, did it, did it. What was I saying? Oh, came out here for a uh, for a white-tailed deer, and I guess I woke all this stuff from its midday nap. Odd. I thought the quad surely would have scared everything away. And then I had bighorn sheep, I had turkey, I have a a boonie rabbit, and then there was something right here that just had a, a lot of mass. It looked like a a deer, like a white-tailed deer. Do I think I got the bunny rabbit? I do not. It would have been right over here if I did. Let me look and see if... Ooh, I did kill something here. I killed that turkey. I killed that turkey. I certainly did. Hey. Uh. Go look. Go go track. Nope, we killed the bunny rabbit. But there's blood. Yeah, we killed the bunny rabbit. Oh, speaking of bunny rabbit... Oh, that's the... It came right for me. You guys saw it. I had no choice. It was attacking me. Blew him right in the friggin' head. Oh, no, I got him right in the neck. Nice, a little silver. I'll take that. Gets us a little bit of money reimbursed for all these shots. With our 20-gauge shotgun. All the stuff they have fixed. They have not yet stopped the uh, the dogs from barking incessantly. Or maybe they did. Oh, look at that. If you get close enough to it, the dog stops barking finally. Oh, that's... Never mind. Forget I said anything. Another silver. That's $800 he dues right there, folks. That gets us on the board. Gets us a little bit of money to put towards some more 20 gauge. Steel shot and we get to claim this shot get away oh and my goodness my goodness my goodness a level up what a nice welcome back to hunter call of the wild what a nice welcome back oh you know what was so funny i was singing the praises of um oh I, I got three more shotgun shells left i thought i was out um i was singing the praises of tropico and i was like man i love tropico i love the music music is so awesome i i made a video posted it and then i got uh four strikes i got four strikes against me because the the music in tropico 4 
was never licensed to be put on YouTube. So anytime it shows up on, on YouTube, the original owners of that, that music, because it's not made up music, like that's like, that's like legit uh, Mexican music, like Mexican songwriters. Um, they, uh, they copyrighted Strike Me. I had four. I had to resolve all of them. I had to mute part of it, and I had to take the songs out, had to cut the video. So Tropico 6, though, does not have that problem. Tropico 6, they licensed all that music. Either they made it from scratch, or they licensed all of it. Is that something right there? No, it's just a rock. I thought that black thing was something standing on the side of the mountain. But anywho, um, probably going to play this for a little bit, get this video posted, and then I'm probably going to go for Tropico 6. Um... When I started this channel almost a year ago, uh, October the 23rd of last year, I told myself that I was going to do a video a day, and I've done that. Uh, every single day that's ticked by, I've had one new video posted to the channel. And I know that the big content creators don't do that. I know that big content creators, they do one video a week. And they go through, you know, they play their games, they record a bunch, they find the highlights, um, a lot of them do voiceover like a lot of them don't do like i do where i'm playing the game and talking at the same time because it's very difficult to do to to consider like think about what it is you're trying to do in the game and talk at the same time uh shin does it flawlessly there's a guy named shin on uh, twitch uh s-h-e-n-r-y-e-e-r -E -E shinra or something like that to that effect but he does it flawlessly he can he can sit and talk and um play the game at the same time I cannot <laughs> if I'm talking to you like I'm missing four or five things happening in the game speaking of let's go ahead and get our binos out that uh oh I was fixing to say I was just about to say those deer are gone the ones that we uh that we saw earlier 208 209 look at that look at that you have a bunny rabbit a turkey a um uh, bighorn sheep and a mule deer all laying down together. How crazy is that? Um, I'm probably going to go for that mule deer laying down right there, 209. And I'm just going to shoot him right in the back. That got him. And then that deer there is just not going to stand up. So we'll take him too. He's trying to run, but he's running into a cactus, and that's just going to be the end of him. Yeah. Perfect. Is that his friend right there? Is that his friend right there? No, those are the bighorn sheep. Might as well. Oh, hold, hold on, hold on. Let's not go too crazy. It's That's 99. There's the other deer I shot at. He's up and looks healthy. So we'll put one into his side. The sheep are moving again. Ooh, what is that? That's another deer. I think I missed him. Here he goes, though. There he goes. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. He come on. He settled down. Settle down. Settle down. Settle down. Settle down. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, I don't know if that got him. The tracking dog is going to have his work cut out for him today. I tell you that right now. Who is that? That's that turkey. <laughs> It'd be cool if like the, sh the, the sound of that thing hitting behind him would drive him toward us. That'd be funny. Uh, but that's what I was coming out here for. I was coming out here for a well, little well, white-tailed deer because the season here in where I live is about to turn on for white-tailed deer probably about in a month. The archery boys and the muzzle boys, they're already out there, I think. I think their their season has opened. I have a, mus a musket. I have a black powder gun. Um, I picked it up. It, it's shoddy. I don't think it... <laughs> uh, like, when I was looking at it in the store, I was like, wow, $168. That's not too bad. Like, that seems like... Like, that seems like that'd be cool, you know, to mess with, just to have one. But the more I look at it, I'm like, I do not want to explode my hands on that thing. So I think I'm just gonna keep it. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to, to restore it. Like I'm gonna try to take it apart. And I have some of this rust remover stuff and 
I have this preservative that's supposed to be really good for like older wood. It's got a lot of oil in it, so it'll like seep into the uh, the wood. Is that bunny rabbits over there? Man, that's a whole gaggle of bunny rabbits, man. You almost couldn't miss. We have two deer down. And maybe a bunny rabbit or two. Let's check the map. Let's cheat. Oh my goodness, yeah, we have a lot down over here. Well, this is really nice getting back into this game and just running across a ton of uh, animals. I um I took a very, very long break uh, from this game. I played a lot of Stardew Valley. I got Stardew Valley to the end. And I kind of feel bad because the people who were enjoying the Stardew Valley, they, and, and rightly so, like they got a little, there was just too much, right? There was too much of it. So like having to watch every episode day after day, like, I can, I can, I can understand if they got fatigued. Nope, didn't find any blood. Well, come over here. Let me give you a pat, because I'm sure it's been a while since I've given you some loving. Let me give you some praise. There we go. I'll give you a pet. I don't know why the frame rate does that. Like, when your guy moves, like, why it stutters so much. It really, like, kind of breaks the whole... You know, like, whatever you got going here with your, your computer... Like, I, I have a very decent machine, but uh, seeing it, like, stutter stuff like that, it's just a little heartbreaking. All right. Okay, so everything that we got was to our south. Da -da -da. I want a white tail deer in this video, but I'll take a mule deer. I was watching, uh, I was watching that uh, Hunter, the meat eater guy, uh, Steve Rennell. I think it's Ranella, but it might be just Ranelle. It might be Steven. Ooh. Oh, I don't think I brought a... I did not bring a call, a turkey call with me. I won't be able to lure him over here. At best, I'll sneak up on him. But he's probably back to that, that rest zone. Um, but we'll keep an eye out for him. We're loaded. We're good. Man, look at that thing. I can't wait. This year, I'm gonna I'm gonna get one get one of those things right there. I can't wait to walk over the lip in real life, like walk over the lip of a little hill and see it laying there. I can't wait, man. I, there's a freezer at the, our local Costco, and uh, I gotta go buy that freezer and somehow get it home and get it hooked up, just so when I get one of these things, I can. What is that noise? You guys hear that? Yeah, um, that's probably those um, those pheasants. What is that? Oh, dang it. A silver. Beautiful. God, look at that, man. How perfect is that? How perfect is that? You, you're not very far away from gold. Okay. Who yelled at me up there? I also got new headphones here, and they have a bass. They have, like, bass in them. So I'm actually getting, like, the, a real good experience here playing this game now. It's super nice. Somebody yelled at me up there. I don't know who it was. I don't think... I don't think it was a deer. It's like a fox or something. Maybe a jackal. I don't think there's foxes out here. Maybe it was a jackal. I don't think it was the bobcat. But the, the turkey gobbled at me from over here. And that thing yelled at me from back that way. So we'll just move real slow up through this country here. Just see what we can see. And hopefully we'll spot that turkey before he spots us. Oh, uh, yeah. So I didn't... Uh, I tell you, there's there's things that just gotta go get done. Um, I went dove hunting with some family, and oh my goodness, man, dove hunting was so very fun. I understand now. Remember when Dick Cheney shot his friend in the head with a when they were do or quail hunting? Like I understand it now. Like the the people when they go dove hunting, they get they get pretty aggressive, and it's hard for them to remember trigger discipline and muzzle discipline. Uh, 
and 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 some people just you don't know they're there uh there was a like i was had a hay bale like to my back and they were like oh the hay bale behind you what is that god awful noise big horn sheep oh geez hey highball Where's his big horn sheep at? He's got to be right here next to me. It's that that noise that they make is almost as bad as the bison noise. Remember the bison noise? Like they make that really loud pow like sound it just kind of comes out of nowhere. Uh, but anyway, I had this. Uh, I had a bale of hay behind me, and they're like, oh yeah, the bale of hay is like prevents you from shooting behind you so that you don't hit the person behind you. And they're like, oh, but don't worry, there's no one really behind you, so you kind of have, like if you need to, you can you can shoot over the top of your bale. You can take a, a step, you know, forward and shoot over the top of your bale. And I was like, cool, 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 thanks. You know, about an hour or two went by, and, uh, you know, doves were coming in pretty steady, and finally one of them came like right in toward me, like right in front of my face. Go find a highball. We'll just we'll just give up on that turkey for right now, um, and uh, I told myself I was like, okay, I'm gonna try this shot here straight on. There's that that turkey. What we call. Uh, is there any way to stop tracking? Yeah, heal. Come here. I see him. Come here. Yeah, nice. Okay, so um, the thing was coming straight at me, and I was like, "Okay, here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot just once, coming straight at me, and then I'm gonna wait till it goes over, and I'm gonna try to shoot it as it's flying away from me, because I I felt that if it was flying away from me, because doves don't dip, dive, or turn, they don't turn left or right quickly, but they don't dip and dive. So I was like, I'm gonna wait till it flies away from me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it right in the the tuchus, you know, that way it'll taste like I won't have any like lead shot, you know, in the in the meat part. I'll just take it from the back. So I did. I shot once at it when it was coming over, missed it, and then as it was running away from me, I, I shot it and got it and, and did exactly what I wanted to do, like right up the tailpipe. Um, but people were like, "Oh, that was a great shot. That was a great shot." Like, "Yeah, man, that was awesome." And then somebody behind me was like, "Can we pick it up?" And I was like, "Oh, there's no one. There's not supposed to be anybody behind me." Like they told me that there was. Right behind me was clear, and one of the hunters that we right there he is. Balls. Dang it. Where you go? He was on the ground. I didn't have like a super duper clean shot at him, but he was on the ground for like a heartbeat. And then highball kind of... I mean, I'm not going to blame it on highball. I'm not going to say the highball got in the way, but... Highball definitely was there. And perhaps, maybe, if he wasn't there, there would have been a, an avenue, like there would have been a window that opened up for a clean shot at him. But maybe not. But I saw him. I saw him. And we knew he was going to come back here. Like, we knew they were hanging out at this little tree. All four species were here. Five species. Um, but anyway... Um, but yeah, like someone had come come in and like taken like a position behind me, and like he just didn't say anything to me. Like he just moved over there. Oh, bronze! Oh, we didn't get a vital organ hit. Rip. 163 though. The other one was better. The other one was better. Still a beautiful animal. Still an absolutely beautiful animal. Um, let's just check. I don't think that's us having killed it. I'm hearing like, yeah. Oh, mule deer. Interesting. It's a mating call, too. Oh, no. Not that. Oh, does that, does that even work with mule deer? I bet it doesn't. White tail, lesser, blue. Yeah, doesn't work with uh, a mule deer. I'm hearing, I, I don't know, I, maybe they added ambient noise to some of these maps, but I'm hearing, like, the grunting of a pig. I don't know where that's coming from. <laughs> But um, anyway, dove hunting was absolutely wonderful. But I do see how like dangerous it can be. Like someone moved in behind me. I didn't even know they were there. Um, and I shot not above their head, but I did shoot 
Like I, I was, I was about 30 degrees off center from where they were at, you know, so the, so shots were definitely going their way, but they were going 30 degrees off their center into the sky, you know, but, and they, he seemed okay with it. Like he didn't seem like it, it was dangerous. Like he was okay. Um, but there was a guy who shot in between me and another hunter. Uh, there's actually my cousin, like my cousin was off to my right and that guy, uh, like the bird was flying in between my cousin and I, and I was like, oh, better not shoot my cousin. And my cousin had the same idea. Like he, he like he took his hand physically off the trigger. Like he held his hand out, like, like I'm not even touching it. And all of a sudden that bird just exploded in between he and I. And we looked up and uh, it wasn't the hunter that was behind me. There was another guy who was not 100% behind me, but uh, he had just shot down in there between us, you know. And he was a younger guy, but he was... He was he was pretty confident that he wasn't going to get us, so I felt I feel like maybe uh, maybe I was overreacting. But for a moment there, I was like, "Geez, like this is this is scary for dove and hunter." Apparently, though, that if you went to like a dove field, like if you went to a place and paid money, it would be even worse. Like you know, you're tight, more tightly packed in there. And I had one guy, and I don't want to say anything, you know. Uh, disrespecting him but i had one guy and i'm pretty sure that i killed the dove he had a dog right so he shot at it and i shot at it and after i shot at it the dang thing fell out directly like it went down um but he sent his dog for it and picked it up and i was like oh okay you know whatever but uh, he he gave he gave it to me at the end of the hunt and it was weird because i didn't know that he had sent the dog after it until um, about an hour or two later, because I kept getting up during lulls, like when there wasn't any doves flying over, I kept getting up and like walking, trying to find it. And everybody was like, what are you doing? And I was like, I, I shot a dove over here. And they're like, oh, cool, cool, you know, go get it. And then like they finally put two and two together. They're like, oh man, he's he's trying to get the dove. Oh, there's that guy that, that yelled at us, making his way back from whence we came. I'm going to try to take a shot at him, actually. I mean, I knew I would get him, but now I want to get him in the side. Ah, come on. I want to get him in the side. I want to get him in the lung. Oh, that's it. That was my last chance. I'm going to miss him now. I think I got him. Oh, hold on. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. He's got to go across that road, right? Right? Go across the road. What the crap was that? Was that you? Stop moving. I feel like he ought to have gone across that road, but maybe he died right there on the other side of that hill. Man, how beautiful would it be to hunt this type of area where you can just see for everywhere? That's the only bad thing is that, well, I guess with the leaves off the trees, it's easier to see the animals where I live, but you don't get to sit on a high hill like this and look down on the world. Um... Where I live, like the hills are so tightly packed that I mean you're gonna you're gonna like you're gonna see this most of the time. Like right here, what's in front of me on the monitor, like that's what you're gonna see. You aren't gonna be able to like look all the way over there and see something and look all the way over there. Like you're mostly gonna be able to see about thirty or forty yards in front of you, and that's pretty much it. Like this is that mule deer. Interesting. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to try to find your buddy, and you can just walk in behind me and go over there to that need zone. <laughs> then I'll shoot you when I go pick up your friend here. And it looks like it was 223 is what that one registered, or 222 is what the golds are. So if I vital shot that one, and I don't, well, maybe I did. Maybe I did. Maybe, maybe because he didn't cross that road, he went down quick. But I don't believe I vital shot him. But if I did... Then we ought to see him here in a minute. Oh, there's blood. <gasps> I did not get that turkey. Did I get that turkey? Hey, get over here. Find that turkey. Find that turkey. Okay, or get stuck in the cactus there. That's fine. I'll do it the old-fashioned way. I'll do it myself. Nice. Very low bleed rate. Yeah, I, don't, I only think I got him once or twice. You with me now? 
Where you at? The game will oftentimes respawn the dog if the dog gets stuck someplace. No, he's still back there. Hey, he's still back there. We gotta go a little bit further. Oh, it is a turkey. I see his feet. There you go. All right, find that turkey. And maybe that was a bad thing to do because if that turkey is not dying, if he's bleeding out slowly, then maybe he'll take us on a wild turkey chase when we really should be going over there getting our deer. What was that? There's so many things over here in this little valley. I'm getting yelled at constantly. That sounded like a coyote. Oh, of course they have coyote on this map. Why wouldn't you have a coyote in a in a desert map? All right. So that sounded like a little coyote yelling at me. Oh, there's our turkey. Nice. I got it. I shot that thing just on like a on a you know just on a on a lark I guess I took a shot look at those feathers my goodness how pretty is that bird that bright red oh man that's so cool that's a gold too man that's a gold turkey I cannot wait I cannot wait to get back out there and start hunting not only does the weather get a little cooler so you're not sweating like crazy but you also get out there and you turn your phone off. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna be buying a blind this year and, and sitting in a blind because because I don't, I, I, I do like moving a little bit. I am a little antsy. And I thought about it. I was like, well, if you're in a blind, you know, like you can move your shoulders and you can move your hands because you're inside of a, of a structure. And I think that's the way I'm gonna do it this year. I'm gonna put a little blind up. That and when I wear my camouflage, you know, I'll wear the regular camouflage, but then I can wear a really nice bright orange vest for safety because if I'm inside the blind, again, uh, the deer isn't going to be able to... Number one, the deer can't see the orange vest anyway, but my point is that I don't have to worry too much about wearing a gigantic chunk of orange because that doesn't... Ooh, who's that yelling at me? Oh, buddy rabbit. Um, oh, there he is on the side of the road. How cool would that be if you could if you could drop that joker and put him on the side of the road and just drive your car up here and throw him in the back of it? Man, man, man. Yes, yes, yes. Here. Let's do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna praise you for finding it. Then I want you to, you to come over here and stop stop barking. Man, look how beautiful that one is. Gigantic antlers coming up there. Nice. Oh, right in the booty. Right in the booty. He he was a, he's a better example of a of a mule deer than the one we had before. The other one was 190. But that's so beautiful. Who is that? Oh, another mule deer, huh? My goodness, there's just tons of mule deer around here. Did that other mule deer? Did he come down out of the woods up there? I guess we wouldn't be able to see him if he did. Go up here to this old mountain. I'll just have one look back. I think that'll be it for this video. It's just kind of got me back into the swing of things. I'm supposed to be doing the uh, trophy thing, right? I'm supposed to be hunting uh, animals to put inside the trophy for the, uh, like, Bob's big trophies, right? Like, oh, hello. Oh, my goodness. Move, highball. And we walked right up in here amongst them. Oh, he's right there. Rabbit stew. How many was that? Four? Let's count them up. One. Two. Three. And four. That's a whole troop right there. What do you call a bundle of rabbits? Is he called a bundle or a troop? 
What, what do you call a bunch of luck? A fortune? Because, you know, rabbits are supposed to be lucky. So if there's a bunch of them together, it's like a fortune or something. I don't know. Can't believe that, man. We just walked up right in here amongst them. Got that mule deer back over there. Sure is. He wants us to come shoot him. And I tell you, man, every time I say we're going to end one of these videos, every time I'm like, yeah, that'll be it for today. The game is like, or so you thought. All right, where is he? I made a ton of noise walking up here. I feel like he probably turned around and ran off. I mean, why would he come over here with so much noise? So maybe that's a little bit of hubris on my part. You know, maybe just break out the binos. Might be a little bit easier to do than, than, the, uh, than the scope. I am so looking forward to it. Looking forward to getting a kill this year, getting it taken over to the butchers, the Lenin butcher, you know, sort it out. And then as it's going to the butcher, did I see a dead bunny rabbit over there? Oh, that was a piece of poop. As it goes to the butcher, I'm going to go in and get that cooler. I probably should get the cooler now because it'll probably go out of sale or they probably won't have any more. Yeah, figure out how to get it home though. Maybe I just order it online. Um, but anyway, look forward to that. We'll just we'll just walk over here right quick and see if we can't bump that mule deer. I think I already did, but it seems like you know the other one that we just killed was walking over this way, and that one was coming from the same vector is the previous one so maybe we'll be able to just bump like I said just walk right into it like just we'll come over the top of one of these mating call for a Rio Grande turkey so I got a turkey yelling at me from over there I have a coyote off to my right and then there was a mule deer somewhere out that way Ooh, what was that it just hits I just had the sights on something, and it said I could have... Maybe it was a track on the ground? No, it was not a track on the ground. It was something right over there. Oh, Scat found. Maybe it was. Maybe it was. Maybe he found some poop. And I could have investigated the poop, and that's what that was for just a second. What is that? That's that coyote again. I kind of like how the game, the animals will like kind of stand their ground, you know? I mean, that's kind of cool because it lets you actually, you know, find them and track them and get a shot in on them instead of them just being super quiet, just walking away. Well, what animal was doing that? Do you remember the animal that we were hunting where it would not make a sound? It would just run away from us. I think it was a fox. Like if we were tracking it instead of it making noises like that or making mating calls or anything, like it just, it just dipped out and I like didn't say anything. I can't remember what animal it was. I want to say it was a uh, a fox, but I feel like it was it was like a mountain lion or something. I really do hope that the developers do a skill rework. I think it would be super duper cool if we had different skills. Where's that? There's that mule deer right off to the right of us here. That's close, too. Uh, but I think it would be super cool if we had new skills that we could do. Because I, I have two points. I have two points that I've not yet spent. Just because I look at the tree and I'm like, none of that excites me. Like, none of that stuff is like, ooh, cool. Yeah, a rework on the skills tree would be outstanding. Or if they could, I mean, there's also a part of me that would like to see, like, you have a different hunter. Well, maybe, I don't know. Like, I seasons. Seasons would be awesome. Like, if you, like the, like the bass game that I was playing, if you watch that, I love how they have the little tournaments where you go out there against other people. And you can do it online. Like, if you do the multiplayer, you can set th those up and you can you can have those challenges. But it would be cool if they just had, like, random 
AI people that you would play against, you know? And they would have bow season. So you, you would go out and for, you know, 20 minutes, three 20 minute sessions, you would go out with your bow, you know? And they'd have like one called stalking where you would do this, right? Where you'd be in uh, a map and you could only like move and locate the deer that way. And then they could have like a, a tree stand one. Where you can only sit on the trees. It's a turkey. Uh, it's a turkey. He's just walking in. So, oh, there he's flying. Do you want to fly to us or away from us? I think I can just shoot him. Oh, he's coming. He's walking that way to the right. Oh, I've only got two shots left. If he comes out, he'll come out right there. Like, if we have a shot, we'll see him right there. I don't think we're going to see him, though. I'm trying to get to the very edge here, and then I'm going to try to stand up and see what I can see. Dang coyote, I swear. I'm seeing every like I'm seeing things out of the corner of my eye and I'm thinking like, oh that's that's him. He was right there on that bare rock. So he probably took off flying and I just didn't see it. Yeah, he probably took off flying. I just didn't see it. Because he was right there. Those are his tracks, those white tracks in front of us. That's him. Don't know where he skedaddled to, but he skedaddled. Kind of looks like he went back that way, but I, I doubt that. But maybe he did. All right. Oh, highball. Whew. Well, that's kind of a good way to end it. We had a lot of it. We had a lot of excitement, and then just to kind of end it on a little a lull there. That's fine by me. I'm gonna come up here to the the top of this little mountain so you see what I can see. See if that mule deer makes an appearance. Maybe I'm just gonna shoot that friggin'. Coyote, just on principle. She's all the way down there somewhere. Where's she at? There she is. All right. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm done. I'm gonna go pick her up, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, is that the turkey that we were after? Is that him? Yep. Where'd you go? He landed. I saw him fly. I saw something fly. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go pick her up. So, again, that Steve Rennell guy was. He has an episode where he's in. Uh, I forget the name of the park, but it's one of the first parks. Uh, conservation parks of america and he's reading a book called the sand county almanac written by a name named, written by a man named aldo leopold and uh in it he has a it's about a page and a half it's called think like a mountain and i was talking to a colleague of mine and i i brought it up and she was like oh of course that makes perfect sense uh you should watch the 
uh, TV, or you should watch the Discovery Channel episode where the wolves change the course of a river in Yellowstone. And I kind of got, I mean, I shouldn't have gotten angry, but I kind of did. And I was like, of course you know that wolves shouldn't be killed out of an area because wolves play a part of the ecosystem. But this guy, Leopold, wrote it like in 1912, maybe 1890. Like he didn't write it with that contemporary, like that modern day knowledge of ecosystems and keystone species. Like he didn't write it back then. You know, he wrote it when people literally were like, anybody who thinks that wolves are good is a moron, you know? And like he had to put that pen to paper and then published it. Then all these farmers and, you know, all these other outdoor people are like, yeah, what an idiot. What an absolute moron to think that wolves play any type of significant role in ecosystem because they're just predators, right? And if and if we kill all the wolves, we'll just take their place. You know, there'll be more for us to eat because the wolves eat the, the wolves aren't there anymore, so they're not going to eat the stuff that we're going to eat. So I got a little mad, and I was just like, yeah, of course you think that way, because people just don't, I don't know, people don't think where does knowledge come from, right? Like, they don't understand, like, there had to have been a day that someone put forth the idea. And Aldo Leopold probably isn't the first person to have put that idea forth, you know? Like, it probably has to be re... Are you kidding me? It probably has to be reintroduced over and over and over again. I'm not going to kill him because he's only 180, but I want to. I want to, buddy. But you're going to be a, good, a big buck next year. Anyway, folks, done with my rant. Done with the video. Thanks for having me back here. A Hunter Call of the Wild. Great game. We're out here in Mexico. Uh, just an outstanding, outstanding map. Come out here to where I'm at. This little valley. This little valley right here, like this is perfect. Like you can just keep running back and forth between these three mountains and anything that comes down, up, or sideways, you get a popping on it. And there's a there's a fast travel point right there. Look at this guy. He just wants death. He's just asking for it. But I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm not I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I know that he's just young, he's inquisitive, you've made a mistake. There you go. See you next year. See you next year, buddy. Did I did I accidentally kill him? Oh no, there he is. There he is. He's he's de-assing the area. Alright, folks. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.